Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. Today I'm coming at you from Cancun, Mexico. Sean, what are you doing in Mexico, man? I came here to kick it. Just came here to kick it. Get out of the house for a little bit, get some fresh air, get some new scenery. You know how it is. I've been out here for a few days now. And what I've noticed here on, well, today, specifically, I'm here on an island, Isla Mujeres. Means, uh, the island of women. Okay, so my message here today is uh, what women want. And um, so I've been here a few days now, and what I can tell you is that the women here are no different than the women back in the States, you know? Um, all women, where, no matter where you're at, they all want the same thing. And it's no different here on Isla Mujeres. Um, you say, Sean, what is, what is it that they want? The six, six, sixes? You know, they want the six figure income, the six pack abs. Six million followers. No, guys, no. That's not what I'm here to tell you here today. That's not what this message is. But I am going to tell you what women want, okay? They want somebody... Well, the most important thing women want is security, okay? They want to know that somebody loves them, regardless of how they look or how many guys they slept with or how raggedy their wardrobe is. They want, some, uh, they want somebody who will accept them for who they are and somebody who will comfort them, who will give them hope that all the mistakes that they made in the past, somebody to give them a chance to turn it all around. The problem is many of these women, they don't know how to find that. You know, it's like buried treasure. You know, there's, there's ships out here who, who I'm sure sailed a long time ago to this island looking for buried treasure. Well, you know, that's what women are looking for, buried treasure. The problem is, is many of these women, they don't know how to find that buried treasure. They're looking for love in all the wrong places you know they're looking for those six six sixes why is that because i'm telling you guys every single woman wants love the only problem is is they get tricked falling for what they think is love but it's not love it's just somebody using them and then after they get used they realize well he didn't love me you know something must be wrong with him you know i'm going to find a man who really does love me and they search and they search and they search and they can't seem to find it because it's like they're looking for that buried treasure. <sighs> Sorry, I lost my place here my, in my notes. The Bible says in 1 Colossians chapter 1, verse 26, Even the mystery which hath been hid from the ages and from generations, but now is made manifest in his saints. Even the mystery. Okay, see, what women want is love, but love... Real love, true love, what they seek is a mystery. See, you guys ever read a mystery novel or see that show called Unsolved Mysteries? See, a mystery is something that's not apparent. It's hidden like a buried treasure. See, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 14, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Few there be that find it. Why is that? Why does only few find it? Why can't women find this love they're looking for? Why can't they find this buried treasure? Because they don't have a map. They don't have a map with X marks the spot. You know, James, the brother of Jesus, wrote in James chapter 4, verse 3 through 4, he says, Ye ask and ye receive not. Not because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God you see it's lust that they're looking for not love you know the six six sixes that I talked about in the beginning that women want the six-pack abs the six-figure income the six million followers they want you to have well that's lust that they're looking for not love see James said in, in uh, James chapter 1 verse 14 but every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed and when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. See, those women, that you're, uh, those of you who are trying to get women to lust after your money, you know, to notice you for your money or maybe your body, maybe you're a bodybuilder. Are you trying to look good? Are you trying to attract women with uh, all the followers you have on social media? 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 says, for bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of life that now is and that which is to come. 
See, that's not going to help your relationship in the long term trying to uh, increase your material wealth or, or, or um, the looks of your body. See, First uh, Timothy said, made it clear, bodily exercise profiteth little. See, the point of my message today, guys, is this. I'm not really here to tell you uh, what women want. You know, I say I come from the Isla Mujeres and, and women are the same everywhere. But what I mean is women will either lust or they'll find that buried treasure called love through Jesus Christ. You know, remember, uh, the point of my message is that even men can do this. Even men could lust or they can love. It's, it's just, uh, if you lust after things, that's going to bring forth death. If, if you're basing um, your quote-unquote love on material things of this world, that's lust. It's going to bring forth death. But if you base things on spiritual things from heaven, which is of God, which is which God is love. You know, the Bible says God is love. And God giveth forth life to us abundantly. See, a woman who is chasing the 666, she's just lusting which is inevitably, inevitably going to lead to death. But a woman who really wants love, who really wants to find that buried treasure, she will seek after spiritual things of God. And when she solves this mystery, she will know that love isn't to be found in any other man. It's not to be found in another person. It's to be found in God through Jesus Christ. You see, only through her obedience in her relationship with God. And the same thing works for men as well. Only through our obedience and our relationship with God can we find and experience love. And when we develop this love and we experience this, that's only when we can give this love and share it with somebody else, another person on this planet. You see, when a woman rejects you, you don't take it personally, gentlemen. It's not that she doesn't like you or maybe she's not treating you right or whatever. It's nothing personal. What it is is she just has not found this buried treasure yet. She just has not found true love in Jesus Christ. It means that, you know, and it could be the same for a man, you know. If the man's not treating you right, it just means his relationship with God the Father is lacking. He hasn't found the buried treasure. He doesn't have it in his heart, so he can't share it with you. Remember, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20 says, If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love his brother whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. You see, whether you're a man or a woman, if you don't treat the other person right, it means you don't have a love with you and the Father, you and God, you and Jesus Christ. If you say, oh, I love this person, but you're treating them wrong, well, it's really your relationship with God that's, uh, that's wrong. And it says, if you hate your brother and you say you love him, you're a liar, right? And the truth is not in you. You see, you can only love somebody when you have a good relationship with the Father. So in closing, coming from the Isla Mujeres, what can I say here? You know, the same thing women want back in the States is the same thing women want here in Isla Mujeres or wherever you're at in the world. You can either lust after the material things of this world or you can find true love through Jesus Christ. But love is a mystery which can only be solved through acknowledging that Jesus is the Christ and He is the Messiah and, dis and discovering the truth. And the truth, Jesus said, I am the truth and He will set you free. He won't take, aw he won't take away your lustful temptations. That's not what He's going to do. He's not going to uh, take away all your lusts of the flesh. But what He is going to do is give you the option to love instead. You can choose. You have a choice. If you don't have a relationship with the Father, though, and you don't acknowledge Jesus as the Christ, you're stuck in darkness. You're stuck with only your lust. You have no other choice. Oh, so the choice is yours. You see, we all want security. A woman wants to know that, hey, if I give birth and I submit myself to my husband, be, submit myself to my husband, is it going to be worth it for me? You know, and it's kind of a risky uh, proposition, right? And, and uh, God says, yes, absolutely, it's going to be worth it. That's, that's my plan for you. But you have to trust God through faith and take that leap of faith, take that risk. You know what I'm saying? And a man wants to know if I sacrifice and work my butt off producing and building with all my strength, well, am I going to be rewarded? 
you know, and another, th- it's the same thing. It's a risk that you got to take, but only through that, only through that risk and that faith in Jesus Christ. Um, just, re- uh, just let me give you an example. Abraham in the Bible, in the Old Testament, he sacrificed his only son, Isaac, on the altar, right? That was a big risk. And, and he didn't know how is it going to, how is it going to turn out? You know, cause God said, Hey, you sacrifice your only son, the most important thing in the world. And, and Abraham said, Yes, God, I will do that. I trust you. I have enough faith to do that. Abraham didn't know why God told him to do that. As far as he could tell, it was the dumbest idea he's ever heard of in the world, right? No good could come from it. Nevertheless, he trusted God anyways, didn't he? And what was the outcome? Did God leave him high and dry? Did he leave him stranded on a deserted island? No. No, he blessed him. And he saved his son Isaac. And he fulfilled his promise. And he fulfilled and he and he blessed Abraham, he blessed his son Isaac, and he blessed his grandson Jacob. And he'll bless you too, but it's up to you to decide. Do you want love or do you want lust? See? So today I told you how to solve the mystery. I told you how to find the buried treasure on that island. That's how you get to love. Otherwise, your lust will bring you just more pain, more breakups, more suffering, and eventually death. There's only pleasure in this life in lust for a season. But love, love takes takes work, sacrifice, selflessness, but it lasts forever. And your cup of joy will be overflowing. Just like this water here, it'll be an endless ocean, an endless sea of joy. Anyways, that's my message, brothers. Um, I hope I encouraged you. And until next time, this is Sean Elvis signing out. And as usual, give God the last word. Peace be with you all. I'm going to read from 2 Peter chapter 1, um, verse 3 through 12. The Bible reads, According as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and goodliness, godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving us all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. And if these things be in you and abound, they may they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in knowledge or of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the, the, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. Amen. God bless.